Jeremiah, you live in Berlin and your film is set in Lesotho. Um, yeah. I was wondering, what are your ties to Lesotho? In which way are you bound to Lesotho? Uh, because I, I come from Lesotho. Um, mm -hmm. I, was raised, I, I, was, I, I was born and raised. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was born and raised in Lesotho and I have a very connection to, to the place mm -hmm. as much as I've been living here for eight years. Um, but Lesotho, it's uh, something very, um, I, I guess it's something that, you know, that whatever that's in your life, whatever you learn, you know, you learn it from that place and mm -hmm. it's still sort of stuck with you. That, you know, it, it has a lot of to do with my childhood memories. It's mm -hmm. really who I am. This is who I am. Definitely. And and what life, do you show in your film? Is it the, the village that you show? Is it the village where you grew up as well? No, 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 no. I, I grew up in the city. I grew up in the city, uh, in a, like a small town. Mm -hmm. uh, but my my grandmother is the one who comes from the uh, who come who comes from the, the mountainous area, where we it's like a, it's a highland. It's more like the same the place where we shot the film. Mm -hmm. But they haven't got to see the film. We're planning that now when I go back to Lesotho, they'll get to see the film. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when would that be? When the part open probably? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully at some point, but not immediately after the border because I'm uh, I'm still writing and. Um, mm -hmm. And, and also we want to do like a big premiere. So it, it's something that we need to take time and mm -hmm. plan it well. So it becomes sort of an event mm -hmm. because we don't have a film festival in the Sutu or we have a cinema in the Sutu. So we will try to make like a big deal out of it to make a big event. Mm -hmm. And which means that we will have to, you know, wait a little bit and see if we, we get enough resources actually to make it happen. Um, it's a sparsely populated country within, uh, well, surrounded by South Africa, and you filmed in a very rural region. How difficult to was it to make your film? Wow, it, 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 it's it's totally another beast uh, um, as far as the conditions of making this film, um, because it was raining all the time <laughs> and the sun moved so fast. Yeah. Like literally, it, it will be here. We're thinking of a shot, and um, in the next minute, that's totally you know gone to the other direction of the shadows. We have to now wrestle with the shadows. Yeah. You know, it, it was a mess. It was a really a beautiful mess. Mm -hmm. um, and what and, about electricity uh, and so on? No, no, no. That that's the thing. There's no electricity. We rely on the on the generators that keep you know breaking down. And and also uh, the, the the village. The reason why I said it was like a really beautiful mess is because the village were really there for us, and they helped us in, with anything that we needed. They mm -hmm. gave us their horses. They gave us their manpower to carry the staff, to carry our actress. I mean, she's eighty, and um, and we're shooting. Sometimes we'll cross over the river, and the river will be overflowing because it's raining. Mm -hmm. And back and forth, the hill will go back and forth. And they will help us carry the equipment, carry everything. Mm -hmm. So we literally relied on the people, mm -hmm. and the people are the ones who were like forced behind the film. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they just willingly opened their doors and opened their houses to help us. So in a way, it was a really like a, 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 a beautiful experience, uh, despite all the, the pitfalls and despite all the, the hardship of making the film. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it, 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 it was wrestling. It was really like a a war to make this film happen, even to set up the shots. Um, we didn't have luxury of lights, we didn't have luxury of, of power source. So mm -hmm. we were as minimal as we could uh, just to make it work. Yeah. In how many days in how many days was the film shot? I think we had a month to shoot oh, the film. Okay. Yeah. And why exactly did you want to tell this story? Can you tell me a bit more about your your own grandmother, who, who's, um, whose story this is about. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about the village? Um, why was it that you wanted to tell this story? I mean, uh, the, the, the reason why I want to tell the story, there's so many, diff uh, so many different reasons why I want to tell the story. Um, first of all, I've been like really obsessed, not even obsessed, I think I've been like really um, thinking a lot about like a, about birth and, and death and 
and, and the life cycle and um, and the new and the old um, and the structure that we build and the world that we build uh, for ourselves and, and 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 soon they become old and soon they become out of fashion or soon they become uh, irrelevant soon they they are invalid mm -hmm. like things that we do in life that they're new when we start when they start but in the end they become very old like it could be anything. Mm -hmm. And I've been thinking about this as a as a wheel of time and thinking this as a wheel of time um, that everything happens within this wheel of time. Mm -hmm. um, and, and 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 this is what really uh, drove me to to eventually want to make film about seventy year old widow who intends to die, be buried at the local cemetery. Um, and also, I'm not necessarily even against all four progress. I mean, I guess that's why. It's, or I had to make film about it because I had to react out of it. I had to react um, and to my to the frustration that I was carrying or the conflict that I was carrying mm -hmm. about the problem and and, and, and about um, the tradition. Um, and also was because of of my grandmother. Is is um, she she's from the the same village mm -hmm. that is now being uh, resettled. In fact, they're still fighting. And um, and I, 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 I would visit my grandmother a couple of times when I was young, so mm -hmm. I know the place very well. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really beautiful memories for me. Mm -hmm. and, um, and now they are like sort of fighting and they're on the, yeah, I don't know. Of course, eventually they're, they're going to have to uh, to leave the place and be resettled somehow. Is your grandmother alive? So no, she passed away. She passed away. Mm -hmm. And how yeah, did you yeah. cast uh, Mantoa, your main character, for like representing your grandmother? How did you cast your actor or actress? Um, you know, I, I, was, I was looking for um, when, I, when I was writing the script, I had a really specific person I was looking for. Mm -hmm. um, you were know, someone with like a broad shoulder, so was very important that some with a broad shoulder and, and dark skin. And um, like almost a sculpture, mm -hmm. but and, but yet very fragile still. Yet that with that fragility. Um, but now we couldn't find the person. Um, I mean, we could find the people, but but now it's in them they're not trained actresses. And mm -hmm. to tell eighty year old uh, to act is like, well, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. So we, we I, I try I try to find people in my country. But now since we don't have the film infrastructure, so a lot of people they're not familiar with, with the cinema or they're not familiar with, with acting. They've never done it. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, and uh, and then we end up uh, um, looking in, into South Africa. And my producer Kate was studying as well as, mm -hmm. a, um, as a as a as a casting director. So and then we were talking about Mary, and then Mary came up and came up, and then we. Um, I, I, I watched her. Uh, I watched her uh, uh, tape, and you know, I was there as well to look at her, and then I really fell in love with her. Mm -hmm. And I thought she, she would be great. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, she's a soldier. She's a soldier. I mean, no one, no, 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 no one at, at the age of eighty mm -hmm. to do could do things that she did. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's literally a wrestler. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes I mean, there were many times when the, the, in the, during the film, that she will fall, and we will think that now we cannot shoot again because she's done, and then she will get up and, and say, "Let's roll, let's do it, let's do it." Mm -hmm. Even the scene when she when it's raining in the film, it's sort of raining down like crazy, and there's like horses around. She was kicked by the horse. Wow. Then actually, and, and then she was like a little bit. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was of course, it took a little bit of time to recover. Mm -hmm. And we when we we within the shooting time, but she will still continue shooting. Okay. I mean, she's literally a soldier. <laughs> perfect. That's the perfect person for this role. Um, yes. Well, Jeremiah, there's a lot of um, religion in your film, and slowly be, but surely the topic changes, and it becomes more about um, environment and so-called progress. And in the middle of the film, one of the villagers says his dad used to say to him, 
what they call progress is when men point their damning finger at nature and proclaim conquest, or conquest over it. Um, I was wondering how has Lesotho changed in the last years? It changed a lot. I mean, because now it, 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 yeah, because it, it changed a lot because I remember when I was young when Nelson Mandela came to Lesotho. Uh, mm -hmm. Nelson Mandela was coming out of prison mm -hmm. and everybody saw him as a hero. He was mm -hmm. literally uh, this god. Mm -hmm. In the beginning of the and, night. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and, and we were all coming to see this man. I mean, at that time I was young, so I didn't know that he was there to, to feel the deal. Mm -hmm. That, that he, he, he inherited from the apartheid uh, mm -hmm. regime. And the agreement was made with the military government at that time of the Sutra. Mm -hmm. And it's the most bizarre and, and it's sadistic, uh, really a contract that's ever been pinned down. Mm -hmm. Because in the Sutra, they don't necessarily even get money. They are, uh, it's, it's, it's such a monopoly um, because the World Bank and South Africa and the Sudan, they sort of came up with the agreement and a lot of officials from the Sudan were paid. Mm -hmm. uh, and now with these dams, a lot of people are losing their land. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they come from the mountain and they are farmers. And they, they all, all they know is to keep farming and the livestock. Mm -hmm. So now when they move to the city, they cannot even farm anymore. And also, there is like a lot of natural disasters happening right now with that, mm -hmm. with this dam, and and also um, because now the the, the, the first dam that was built, they didn't care about making like a proper survey, environmental survey, and assessing if it was the right place or not. Mm -hmm. But they just build and just kick the people out. You know, like for me, I always believe that it should uh, it, it, the progress, the people should be the part of the progress, but not the end product, end result of it. But it should be part of the progress. It should be part mm -hmm. of the okay, we're gonna move these people here because of this and this, mm -hmm. like how they can sustain themselves and be able to uh, to live and be able to benefit from that as well. Mm -hmm. And but in this case, it was never done like that. They are disgusted, these people. They are disgusted, they are thrown away. Mm -hmm. um, and and this for me was about the dam. When was it made? Was it when uh, Nelson Mandela visited Lesotho? No. Yeah, it yeah, oh. was actually in talks before, but mm -hmm. Nelson Mandela was the one who spilled it, who, who opened it. Yes, let's do mm -hmm. it now. Because it never, because at that time there was a political instability in the Sutra, so it never uh, went through this deal. But when the, now that came to power, he sort of came and then they sealed the deal and the dam, the first mm -hmm. dam was built. Yeah. It was, it was one of the biggest dams in Africa he built. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the end of your film, Mantoa stands up against the armed police, who we know is going to kill her, but that's exactly what she wants, um, because she wants to die in the village and be buried with her ancestors and her family. Um, there's a child coming out of the group, looking at her, um, which, and the child thinks by itself, this is not a burial, it's a resurrection. That's also the title of your film. I was wondering, are you this child? Is it you in the group? Do you see yourself as the child? Well, I, you know, I, I see myself in every character in the film. Uh, there is, a, a, um, I mean, all, all of the characters, actually. Mm -hmm. All of the characters in the film, it's me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the part of me that I feel mm -hmm. and what I feel and what are my fears and what are my hopes and what are my, my dreams. Mm -hmm. and the, the, the world that I like to project um, and the myth that I like to project. Mm -hmm. I, knew, I know they are myths, mm -hmm. but I, I would like to play with this myth. Maybe someday there will be a reality. Mm -hmm. it, it's, not, it's very rare for 70-year-old widows. I mean, there are stories of 70-year-old, like a very old woman, like taking off their clothes and in a, as a sign of defiance, as a sign mm -hmm. of protest. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, uh, it, it, I, 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 I heard about stories like this in my country. But now I, want to, I, I feel like it's, it's the myth that I would like to bring back. Yeah. I would like to see this myth, this myth, this myth happening, this legend happening. Mm -hmm. So it's very, uh, in, a, in my film, it's a contemporary film. Mm -hmm. But also I try to play with the whole legend, but still as yeah, a contemporary film. 
-hmm. and this mythology, this folklore in a contemporary film, because I want to project this this mythology now mm -hmm. in the real time, in in in, 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 in the real the flesh and blood, in, in real flesh and blood, um, uh, uh, intangible things in in the um, in a struggle that people are going through right now. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. that there will be some sort of a um, an I an idea. Not necessarily in a big scale of like the uprise or whatever, but I, I, I like I like the idea of people standing for an idea and um, and, and 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 see my fantasies real. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, <laughs> I must I must say um, your film shows an extraordinary photography. I really really loved every shot. It's like an amazing picture. Every shot you take. Um, and there's like sometimes in the background, there's figures walking with exact the same distance between them. All the colors of the costumes go together so well. Um, was this all very controlled or did it sometimes happen spontaneously? Or did you yeah. put a lot of effort in the photography? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was controlled. Mm -hmm. um, Beautiful. Everything was planned and um, mm -hmm. I, I, I try to have a plan, uh, but when I walk on set, I try to be there and then just be there and just let the yeah, like ideas just happen, just let life happen. Mm -hmm. But in, 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 but uh, but I already have an idea. If, 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 the, if the spontaneous doesn't happen, um, I already have like a, 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 some things to, to you know uh, the, the back of of tricks. So. But in many sense now we didn't have the luxury of waiting because of the sun and everything. We just, you know, it was like the idea of okay, this shot should be like this. Um, it should feel like this um, because of this, because of this, you know. So, but and I love doing that. I come from a very visual um, uh, background, mm -hmm. um, and so I, I love playing the shots. I love the paintings, and, and I wanted to really. Uh, uh, but the shot they, it should come across as a painting, mm -hmm. as a mosaic of painting, as a lot of paintings. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I wanted to achieve. I didn't want to steal like paintings from other painters. I really wanted to paint. Uh, and also, I, I, I always wanted to do, do, do you know, when I was, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a poet, I wanted to be a, a painter. Mm -hmm. And somehow I failed in a way. Uh, and <laughs> so I, 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 feel like, I feel like now with films, I could do it, I could okay. somehow. <laughs> You know, yeah. Films allowed me to to uh, to to be a painter and yeah. a poet in a way that I inspired to be, mm -hmm. that I couldn't be. Yeah. yeah, I think it worked really well for you. Um, mm -hmm. A small detail: what I've heard as well is that there's always birds chirping in the background. Um, was it the natural sound of the environment, or did you put the birds on top? It was, it, was, it was both. It was both. It was both. But I was, I was aware. I was very aware mm -hmm. of the of the nature of the sounds of nature. Mm -hmm. I was very aware, and it was very encouraged on set mm -hmm. because the idea was to document nature as a not as a landscape but as a character. Mm -hmm. So everything we were we had our eyes open for any sound that can come from that place. Mm -hmm. So when it comes on set, it was just it was we were aware of it. We are mm -hmm. aware of it. And then sometimes I remember in the beginning, people would be like, "Oh, uh, maybe the sound guy would be like, ah, somebody the sound. We just wait." I'm like, no, 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 let's not wait. That is very important. That is a part of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Because most of people who are doing that like, sound, and because we didn't have much time to to go throughout with the, the story to everybody and tell the story where we are doing and, and blah blah. Uh, uh, you know, the whole talking of the film, what we're doing, and how there's some people who are cool a little bit because we didn't have time actually. Um, and and we everything was on set, okay. We were talking on set, mm -hmm. we didn't have like the long talks during the film before the film was shot, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Then, um, my last question is what is so you just told us um, that you're writing on something. Can you tell us already something about your upcoming project? Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very super excited about what I'm writing right now. I'm writing um, 
a film uh, about it's how I it's an essay and uh, it's how I encountered cinema, like mm -hmm. how literally cinema saved my life, mm -hmm. and uh, and also it was a lot of my childhood, um, and also I'm writing another feature is more of like a classical narrative mm -hmm. of uh, my version of um, I would say Lady Macbeth. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Wow. And it, uh, it, it, it's based on on, on, on my country. It's, you know, my country is a very it's a very much Shakespearean tragedy. Mm -hmm. So I take a lot from the actual events that that happened. Yeah, so I'm very cool. much excited now. Okay. Well, I'm curious about that, Jeremiah. I am um, very much. Uh, would like to thank you for talking to us. And I wish you good luck with your film because it's in competition in our film festival. Um, and I hope that your uh, Lady Macbeth from Lesotho will uh, give you the chance to come to Belgium in real life, not just through video. Um, yeah. In the meantime, I, I would very much like to thank you. I extremely uh, like the photography in your film. Like I was surprised every time with every new image. So um, for the people who really like, um, yeah, like serene, poetic uh, films with beautiful nature and be beautiful colors, I would definitely recommend to watch It's Not a Burial, It's a Resurrection. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for the, for the audience uh, and, for, and also the selection comedy. Um, I'm, very, I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful to be part of such a uh, festival and uh, I'm very happy. And thank you for, for talking to me. Thank you for talking as well. All right, Jeremiah, see you. Good luck with everything that you're doing. Thank you so much. Have a good one too.